What's up guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to showcase a residential area where I lived in the year 2000 and 2001 I rate this residential area to be the most developing residential area in Lusaka Zambia yes I rate this place to be the most developing residential area in the whole Lusaka Zambia yes this place ladies and gentlemen has changed for the better it is really very beautiful residential area if you are new on my channel subscribe turn on bell notification give this video a thumbs up yes i want us to check out some cool houses the houses which we are like no more ordinary houses they have been really they have really been upgraded so let's check out this place where i lived in the year 2000 and 2001 are you ready let's go this place you are seeing is known as the Kamwala Remand Prison. Yes. So we have officially entered the new Kamwala residential area. This area is approximately less than 2 kilometers to enter into the city center of Lusaka. When you are here, like these places which are so close, it's about one kilometer you are in the city center. So let's check out some house, these houses. I'll tell you briefly about the rental and how much it has changed from the year 2000 to 2020, which is about 20 years from the time I lived in this place. Take a look at the buildings which have come. Now, in this residential area, this is Fountain of Hope. This is like an orphanage, Fountain of Hope. The main roads in this area are well done. They are tarred roads, but the inner roads, only very few of them are like steel gravel. So there were no more two or three bedroomed houses in this residential area, which are still there. But what has happened of late, suddenly, this place became so prime. You can see, look at the neighbors. Some people have developed these, these houses you are seeing. Take a look at the, how they look like. They are the original houses. But what has happened in the recent past, in the few years, is that people have upgraded to this. Yes, this. That is how much they have upgraded. Either the owner have got money, they demolish their house and upgrade it. Or mainly, our friends uh, of Asian origin, the Indian guys have like bought off by giving these guys very good offers of almost millions of kwacha to buy these houses. They demolish it and they build their world-class houses like this so that is how they have done to these houses so in this particular residential area even rentals has uh, gone up significantly so this area is one of the most developed residential areas we have actually that's why i'm saying like you heard in my preamble I rate this place to be the most developing residential area in the whole Lusaka. I think that's how I, I rate it to be because I lived in this place. So I know how the place has changed. I'm sure you can see. I'll be showing you. There are some places construction is still going on. Take a look at this one again. Plot for sale. So this one is being sold. And it won't take long. Some of you, by the time you are watching this video, this plot would have already gone. And the plots are not that cheap. So these are the kind of houses. Take a look at the beauty of the houses which have come up 
from the ordinary places because this place has appreciated in value so much. Different designs, some of them have been put into many apartments where you can have multi tenants. Here, this one is still under construction. This one is still under construction. Yes. I was supposed to do this video much, much earlier, but for some for some reasons I kept postponing to come and review it to you this time around. Remember, I am a property guy. I love revealing uh, properties almost everywhere I go, particularly here in Lusaka where I live. Take a look at this one as well. I love the offense and the way they have put the creeping uh, plants. I'll show it again. Yes, take a look at the offense with the, these creeping flowers so this road moves from uh, fountain of hope going to the total feeding station you can see findeco house there so this place is less than two kilometers in town it had just rained although it's very hot the rain season is just like knocking it's about to start the rain season is about to start here in Zambia. Take a look at the comparing the ordinary houses from the upgraded houses. You'll be able to notice the difference. So what uh, what makes Kamala residential area as well so unique is that you can easily walk from Kamala into the city center. So if you don't mind uh, taking a bus, you don't mind driving, you can easily walk to town. It's very near. Uh, this place is so close to the town residential area. Is there another residential area, ladies and gentlemen, you feel I should showcase in Lusaka? Comment down below. Also comment down below if you can live in this particular residential area. Now, this place is the Zamise. It is opposite or near the Defense Force Staff College in Kamwala. If you remember this place, comment down below. So from the Zamise, Zamise is a college for the for studies for the disabled so people who study the uh, the disabled that is the the college where uh, they do their studies from take a look at how the inner roads these were roads which would rarely uh, could not even be they could not even build a proper house but this time around they have changed they have really really changed this used to be pothole road bad road but it has been upgraded except the inner road so this road is known as lukulu road because that's where i lived so that's why i remember it i lived on lukulu road in this particular residential area ladies and gentlemen so I'm so grateful that you uh, guys will come back to watch my videos. So grateful to watch particularly this property video. If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. When I was doing this video, I, as usual, although I know, I already know the place, but because there have been a lot of changes, I still come back to this place because my uncle and my aunt, they still live in this particular residential area. Rentals in this residential area, these houses you are seeing which are ordinary, just a room alone. A room can go for about 1,200 kwacha. Yes, that is the price for a room. Otherwise, a two-bedroom house here could cost anywhere up to between 3,000, even 4,000 kwacha. A two-bedroom house of these old houses and most of these houses they don't have tiles but that is the price why maybe because it is near town the place has really been upgraded 
That is why it is so expensive. The price of rentals you get here can be equivalent to certain houses you can get in premium areas like the Silverest where I had already shown in Chalala which is further away from here but you can pay a 10 kwacha on public transport to get into town. So this place is still, it has gotten a bit more expensive. So this is the video for Kamala. Thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. I so much appreciate you. So if you are new on my channel, Please, I need your support. I'm on my journey. I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 20,000 subscribers. Please support me by subscribing to my channel. Turn on bell notification. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and thank you so much for everyone who has been supporting my dream of showcasing places where I go, showcasing beautiful houses like this one. Tell me that this is not beautiful when i say the most developing are you sure this is not good enough i really appreciate you so much ladies and gentlemen i'll see you in my next video peace